Elephants Without Borders was largely established to better understand the ecology of Africa's largest land mammal, the African elephant. At Elephants Without Borders, we believe that conserving the African elephant is the best way to try and secure conservation lands for the benefit of Africa's people and wildlife. The elephants face an uncertain future in this part of the world. Human populations are growing and the range, the space available for elephants is being compressed. And if we are able to identify how elephants move through this landscape, we can link up habitats from one country to another. When I first started this project, a lot of people thought that elephants in northern Botswana would never move across the Caprivi Strip into southeast Angola. And here we are, three years later, having collared elephants in the Okavango Delta in northern Botswana. Elephants are moving 460 kilometers over seven days across four countries. I believe that elephants historically moved over vast areas. And this is one fascinating research finding which Elephants Without Borders has discovered. We've recorded phenomenal home ranges, over 26,000 square kilometers. Whoever would have fathomed that elephants can move over such a large wilderness area. To unlock the secret as to where elephants move and how they move, we placed collars, which have a satellite unit embedded in the collar, which can communicate with orbiting satellites. Those satellites then download the pinpoint precision of the elephants to our laptop via the internet. According to my knowledge, this is the very first time that the world has the ability through the internet to track elephants in Africa. Sitting in the luxury of your classroom or at your house in your home, you know where elephants are moving halfway around the world by monitoring their movements over vast areas through this amazing technology. There's a direct link. Elephants are telling us which areas to conserve, which areas to look after to safeguard their future. Africa's elephants are a flagship species. Where elephants move, other spe wildlife species will follow suit. And this has been a perfect example from our research in southeast Angola. That country virtually had no elephants in 2001 when we started our research there. And in 2005, we estimated 3,000 elephants in that system. But in addition to elephants, we discovered that other wildlife populations had moved into the protected areas of southeast Angola, which is conclusive evidence that in conserving Africa's gentle giants, the African elephant, other wildlife species have the ability to prosper. I believe that it's everybody's desire and wish to view an African elephant in its natural habitat. People visiting Africa particularly want to see this great giant because we identify with it and we're prepared to pay a certain amount of money to view Africa's elephants. And in so doing, income generation derived through ecotourism has a trickle-down effect to Africa's poor. Nature's great masterpiece, the African elephant, can be used for social upliftment. It can be used to improve the quality of life for Africa's rural people. Through ecotourism, elephants indirectly create employment in lodges where you're staying to view the elephants. They also create a cross-pollination, a cultural exchange. Africans have the ability to communicate with people from the first world and learn about their culture, which I think is very enriching. And it's largely because what drives people to come and visit Africa is the African elephant. By saving the African elephant, we can save Africa's wildlife, Africa's habitat, and Africa's people. An Africa without African elephants would have lost its soul. And it's left up to elephants without borders and many other NGOs trying to work to save the African elephant, to better understand how elephants move across Africa, to make sure that elephants don't face an uncertain future.